Welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Today's video, I have for you a setup in my Erin Condren uh, Petite system here. We're gonna swap out some things. Also, I thought it would be fun to set up my July monthly, so if you guys wanna check out this video, then keep on watching. So hey there planners, I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my channel. I love planners and everything that comes with it. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a small setup on how I transition into a new uh, daily petite planner. This is by Erin Condren and then changing out the folio. <laughs> So I hope you'll stick around. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is going to be a very simple setup um, or switcheroo. So I'm going to just switch out my folio. I got this one just recently and I like changing them up because it keeps things fresh and interesting. So this is Erin um, Condren's um, layers, I think. That's what it's called. It has this beautiful dark blue um, inside there it's just really pretty and I think it's perfect for the summertime and then this is my next volume to finish out this um, planner so this is what I'm currently using for the entire year I kind of switched things over and I've been loving it so this is a daily that I've been using for my catch-all I have one more book to go so super excited about that um, we're gonna put that in there I don't have any charms or anything new to put on this planner but this is what it looks like here, and I'm going to do a quick little flip through first if you're new to my channel. So this is how it currently looks like. I have a medium pocket here that I like to put like go-to stickers in. Um, sometimes it can be a little annoying when, you know, you open it up and they slide right out. I haven't figured out a solution for that, but I'm always thinking about how to fix it. Um, but it does slide around. It can get quite annoying. But I do like the medium pocket in the Erin Condren folios only because I've tried putting two large pockets in here. And I do like a large pocket in the back. But when my planner shifts this way, um, the large pocket gets caught and it flips the whole tab, this whole tab over. And that bothers me. So it's just like a preference. If you want to put two large pockets inside the folios, you could totally do that. Um, I would definitely recommend just playing with it and then switching these out because um, these stick really well. And I just buy new ones. I don't reuse the ones that I've used in my previous folios. So then I have this insert here and it just slides through the um, folio here and it has this large pocket in the back which is one of my favorite features because it's so large that you can put in planner kits in here so um, that way you can keep up with it and you don't have to like look around where you just bought that new planner kit. So I love this pocket here and then this folio has four bands. Um, but I typically only use two to three books in mine. Uh, mine gets pretty chunky because I've been adding lots of stickers and photos and extra list paper. So, um, yeah, and I stick <laughs> extra stickers in this sleeve here that does not come with these um, daily planners or petite planners. Um, you have to order this separate. However, Erin Condren doesn't have them anymore on their website. I had someone mention to me that you could get them on Amazon. So they do have some things on Amazon, but not everything. And I have not found um, the glitter um, little protective insert here. I wish that they would, you know, maybe they'll come out with them in the fall. I really don't know. So yeah, typically I use two to three books in here only because I think four is just way too heavy. And I have my daily, which is my catch-all. I have this extra journal that I like to use for just extra ideas and notes and things. Um, I'm actually gonna keep it in here for July because um, I thought about s swapping it out for my other Hello Kitty one here. And this one's a lined one. It's really cute. Actually, prefer the inside better. Look how cute that is. Um, so this is a productivity one. So I'm just going to still try to work on it. So I'm going to keep that in here. And then the other one that I use, sometimes I take it out because um, I kind of take this with me instead of taking my whole folio system when I go to the grocery store. This is my meal planning 
one. It's got coupons and stickers all in there. And this is the other clear glitter sleeve that I have. I only have two. Um, so whenever those come back in, if I see it on Amazon, I'm going to snag two more. Because <laughs> I typically take these off as well and change it to the new booklet. Because it does help. But that's basically what I have in here. And I use it consistently. So absolutely love it. So I'll go ahead and do a current like updated flip through for you guys. Um, this is my cover page. We're kind of going to do this exact same thing for this one. This is um, this has three months in each volume. So I'm going to quickly just flip through this. And if you've watched my plans with me before, um, I kind of talk about how I plan this out and I've added photos to highlight special occasions because I think that's really cute and I just used the Canon Ivy um, and I have printed out some page uh, I'm sorry printed out some pictures that I'm gonna swap in the insert and for stickers I use a little bit of everything so if you're new to my channel and, and you're new to Erin Condren Petite um, I hope you'll stick around because I tend to finish this towards the end of the year. But I use all stickers. I don't typically use a lot of kits. I kind of like doing my own thing. I love that. So I use Shine Sticker Studio. I use um, Wrong Wrong, Happy Planner, um, a lot of Happy Planner. And I re recently just picked up, oh, I have Planny Thing. Um, Christian Designs, which I've used some of her stickers from the collab with Michaels. And, well, Sweet Kawaii Design. So, oh, I have Planner Kate. I just recently picked up some kits from her. Um, I typically don't share a lot of after the pen, except for like flip throughs here or on my Instagram. So definitely follow me there for more inspiration. And then um, I like to highlight some of the things in my pages and it's kind of just like a um, aesthetic look, I feel like, but I do highlight things that I've gotten done. So sometimes I go back and do that. This was Father's Day. I added a photo there. And yeah, oh, I also use Live Love Posh. If you guys are familiar with her, she was at Go Wild. Um, that was here in California. And this is where I'm currently at now. That is how I use the EC Folio. Oh, I do add, so on this side, I put photos. I'm actually gonna switch this one out. And um, what I did is I just took a photo and, and rotated it so it would be horizontal instead of vertical and I was gonna print another one here but I'm out of paper so I gotta do that another time and then on the other side I like to use like these slots here are perfect for freebies so if you want if you're someone who gets a lot of freebies you want to put your freebies here so you can use those up or um, for me the top portion here I use all my um, Nicole Hutch designs these fit perfectly here so that's what I put here. I really love these pockets and finding stickers that are like every day that fit there. What I'm gonna do now is take this out so I can, um, which is weird because I'm currently just, I'm using this. So, but yeah, we'll just go ahead and swap this out and maybe I'll wait on taking the sleeve off just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of this folio. This folio I got, I think, when Erin Condren had their spring warehouse sale. And um, this color was out of stock, but then they brought it back. And I think it's called Lagoon. It's more of like a emerald, well, like a sea green color. And I got it for spring and it's, it's really pretty. Okay. Yeah, this typically just slides out. I have to pull the bands up. I do have two of these um, just in case they stop selling these and these are really great. I think they're only um, $5. So then I just take that out and 
take the charm off. This is a Hello Kitty Erin Condren charm. Put this through here. Like that. Pretty easy. And then I want to swap out this photo. Yeah, all I did was in the Canon, um, I have the Canon IV, you can rotate your sticker. So if you have a sticker that you take vertically, you can rotate it to a, um, horizontally, and then you can fill up the white space. I forgot to do that. So you'll just enlarge your photo, so it'll take away that white space, or you can definitely cut that off. Um, I also was thinking about making fun, like, seasonal cards to put in here with stickers and such, or like quotes and things. So that's another idea you could do if you like to be a little bit more crafty with your planners. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. there. This is just stamps and a washi cutter in case for some reason I forget my bag, my planner bag, and I don't have it. So it's just a Starbucks card there. Let's see what I need to pull out. I'm gonna keep those. These are also um, Nicole Hutch Design. I really love ordering from her. Her stickers are really great and she always has really good sales. And her link's down below if you guys wanna check that out. Um, yeah, these were a lot of summer stuff that I wanted to use. And these were in the front pocket, but again, sometimes if you put too many stickers in that front pocket, they just slide right out. So it makes it a little heavy and um, it's better just to use a paper clip. So I don't need those though. Early release, quick 15, softball practice, clean fridge. Those are all school related and I don't need those. These are all Shine Super Studio, which I really like these, but do I need them right now? Um, kind of take the bulk out. Time to clean, cardio workout, strength training. I'm actually not doing that right now. Walking on treadmill, I can keep. Workout at the gym, I can keep. Well, I'd rather just do like walking or something. So I'll save that from when I get a little bit better. These are stickers, again, I try to put in here to use. So we'll put that in the Shine Sticker Studio pile. Softball, I don't need those. Reading, could save those for church. Um, I need those, and then and this was stuff from Go Wild that I was using. Oh, I was actually using this to um, decorate my uh, trip to Texas back in spring, back in April. So those I can keep out. These are Disney stickers I can keep out. Um, and then this one I bought for spring. These are really great spring sticker kits. Just boxes, like cute decorative boxes. Um, those are the numbers if you're interested. But I'm gonna take these out because these are more springy-like and then these are more summer-like. So I'm gonna keep those. And then I have this to-do, which I need those. Okay, perfect. And then I may have putting some other stickers in here. I just don't know yet. So I'll put all my Shine Sticker Studio. Normally I keep Shine Sticker Studio in here. I have like these Simply Gilded um, organizers that I keep all my stickers in. Okay, so the ones that I had in the pocket, I guess I'll go ahead and put those in there. These I'm gonna keep out though because I think I need those to decorate for my monthly. So we're all gonna try to do that because I didn't think this would be too long to set up. Condense this actually and then cut it down to put here. Again, this is like something that I wanna use for like samples. So maybe I'll do that. All right, so that's done. Now I just need to um, add in my, and what I like to do now, since I've busted two of these, I don't know if you guys follow me, but if you're new, these have um, snapped on me. Two of them have snapped on me, but I've just cut it and tied it. This time what I do is I just pull these three strings here that, I'm, that I use, and I don't use this one at all, so it doesn't snap on me. But you can um, 
cut it and retie it if you want to feel comfortable to do that um, or just wait until it snaps on you I know that's kind of crazy but mine have I don't think other planners that I've gotten comments have done you know have snapped on them it just depends really on your bands but you can always always um, you know tie it to fix it but a little tip is just use the three bands I just don't use four it just it's just too heavy so just use the three so I put this one the productivity or just a extra journal in the middle I typically put this one in the back but I'm not going to do that today and I use my daily up in the front okay so now we're going to kind of decorate this one yeah I'm going to keep this one in the sleeve since you know it's not fully July yet and I'll swap that out but what I'm going to do is actually put in the tabs so I have these tabs here up at the top um, they're from Sweet Kawai Design and the sticker here is Sweet Shine Sticker Studio. <laughs> I know, a mouthful. And then we're going to decorate our cover page. Okay, so um, by any chance, if you have these, this is where I get my tabs. Um, I just went through my stash and I noticed that I had two. But these were um, a collab with uh, Craftsmith. They've done it before. They're, they have like new ones out, so these are super old. But your Michaels may have these and like in the clearance buckets, like maybe you could dig for them. I don't know. But this is um, Sweet Kawaii Design and this is what I use to tab out my months. They actually have, I think, two sets in here. So I use the ones with the bows, but they also have these solid plain ones with the months already on them. I was lucky enough to find, so they'll kind of match. I had an extra one because again these are clearance now um, and then I always get asked about where I get my stickers to go on here this is what the book looks like again these were super old when they first collabed at Michaels with Craftsmith um, Shine Sticker Studio this is a little monthly sticker booklet and so I'm gonna use July August and September on here and they are like um, a glossy sticker, but they're pretty sticky. So they haven't, let me get a frame here. They haven't come up. I just like the way that that looks and I just figured I have them, I need to use them. So the next ones will be October, November, December. And this little book, it's really cool. It has like um, weekly stickers, it has dates. So it has all colors, more dates. And then these monthly boxes, again, this is for a monthly calendar. It's a really cute. I wish I would have picked up a backup of that. Again, these are all old at Michael's, but maybe you can check your Michael's clearance section. Okay, that is so adorable, I love that. So now what I do, I'm gonna do the cover page and then I'll do the, um, the tabs. So with the cover page, kind of what I did here, I really like. So I'm gonna um, use the stickers that no, it didn't come with this, I'm sorry. So this came in a pack. I forget what it's called, but it's Erin Condren sticker pack. It was either three or four. And if you saw that haul, I talked about using these to either decorate the cover of these planners or like the inside of here. And I really like the way it looks in here because they're purple and it matches. So that's what I'm going to do here. added my cover page and added most of those stickers there I think it turned out really cool it's just a way to use up your stickers 
super cute. Okay, so now I have to put in my monthly tabs. And I was trying to match what the month is. I don't think that's gonna happen. So July is like this dark slate blue color and then August is like a yellow faded color and so September is purple. I can try my, to try my best to stay within the color, but I don't know if that, that's definitely not gonna happen. So I actually have this light blue that I'll probably go with for July. This will be for August, which is kind of perfect. And then this purple color for September. So I will add those and then for the monthlies, I've been using the holographics. These are by Shine Sticker Studio. Super fun. So now I'm just gonna add in my tabs. Okay, my tabs are done. I actually did a better job with laying these better in this book than I did before when I first started this. Um, but I wish I would have put, these are really sticky, so it kind of peeled up the paper and stuff. Um, but I, I like the bows showing more. I could have put July here, but then I would have had this big white space. So I just loved it like that. And I do have two on each side or it's double sided. So I think that's so adorable. I love that. I think we can plan out my July monthly. I do have some sticky notes here that I've used. These are Erin Condren's new um, Harmony, Colorful Harmony, and then this one's Etta V. That's what I have currently. Um, stay tuned. I am going to be setting up this planner, the A5, for July, and we'll see how this goes for August. And um, I'm still going to be using my petite because, again, I really want to finish this. Then I have the Agenda A5, which this is just an hourly. So this may be just like a setup for, you know, what I have planned for the family and time slots. But I don't know if I'm going to be using this a ton because it is a daily. And I just don't use a daily hourly like that or the, the way that it's laid out. I'm not used to that layout, so we'll see. Again, this was supposed to be like time slots for me to figure out my day and if I work that way as a planner, um, but I will have like a setup on this if you guys are curious, but definitely trying to see how this will work for me. I have some sticker options. Um, I have a Planner Kate because I did a big order with her. So um, here I have her doodles for July. I have these kits or the, um, it's actually two different ones. It's fireworks, I forgot what the other one was called. Um, I don't remember. Um, they don't have the names, they're all by numbers. So anywho, I have that one in here. So I could utilize those. Um, I also have Agenda 52, lots of stickers. Okay, so I have Agenda 52, this is a seasonal pack. I thought this would be great because it has a lot of small stickers for me to play with. I have these dates by Shine Sticker Studio, I just got these. Um, and then I have um, Shine Sticker Studio Small Dots, and these are translucent. And the reason why I have these, because I also have Nicole Hutch Design, because I thought I would use these for birthdays, for highlighting birthdays, because this month, everybody in my family's birthday is happening. So I have those. I also have these instead if I want to use these. These are by Nicole, uh, Lexington Flair. All of my favorite um, small shops, well, there'll, there'll be a link down below. If you guys want to check that out. Um, I also have Shine Seeker Studio here. This is like a small kit for Hobonichi. And then I just have a lot of decorative stickers from um, Hobby Lobby. And then again, if I want to use these birthday balloons, this is from 
little small sticker books from um, Hobby Lobby. I pulled this out last year because I took this on the go with me. But it's got a lot of cute seasonal stickers in here. And these are perfect for monthly views that are small, like the EC Petite. So I highly recommend these if you're a seasonal planner. So I've pre-planned and made a list of what I um, typically put in my monthly view. I don't really do a lot of these, so I just thought this would be fun to share with you real quick. So I have birthdays, paydays, appointments, events, and figure out birthdays and see if this idea that I have works. So if I didn't use these numbers, highlight this. I mean, this could be an idea. I don't know if I want to do this because I want to use these numbers, but I just thought because I have so many birthdays, this would be an easy solution is adding these translucent stickers. So if I did that, um, I couldn't use the, the stars there. And if I put it over it, it does darken it. Oh, I get two sets here. I didn't even know that. So I have like the top portion's a little bit darker and this is like, oh, I didn't even know that. So I could still do that. Okay, let's try that. Placed all my dates down and now I can add these fun little translucent dots to go over the days that I have family birthdays. My youngest on the 16th, sister's birthdays on the 10th. Oh, it's fun if I put, um, I have a red actually. So this is the small dots from Shine Seeker Studio and it's all like the rainbow colors. So that would be fun if I could use red and have enough. Let's try this again. So the 16th for my daughter, the 10th for my sister, 18th for my dad. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the fourth because that is my granny's birthday, but she has passed. Um, but I still like to remember her. And then the 23rd is my brother-in-law which my sister and my brother-in-law they have the same birthday in the same month um and then my brother is the 29th and who else i feel like i'm always missing someone but i think that's it and we'll move on to all these appointments that i have okay okay i forgot i got these sheets let me see if these fit actually in these boxes Okay, these actually fit perfectly. I have more colors here to work with. It's the other colors, the other blue shade. It's because I actually have two appointments, two separate appointments. I'll use, instead of using these for appointments, I'm gonna use this one for the event. Which is the 23rd, it's a family event. And then I'm gonna use this red box for the 4th of July. Place that at the bottom. And I'm gonna white out these other holidays I don't celebrate. So I'll use one of these smaller ones actually, and then get um, so on the 11th I'll put the smaller one from Nicole Hutch Design and. These are also from Nicole Hutch Design. I get a lot of stickers from her shop. She just has a lot of go-to functional stickers. So that'll be for camp. Okay. 
And I think that pretty much does it. So all I need to do now is kind of like put all these back and get organized. That's all I have for right now. So I have the birthdays. I went off my little list. I'm gonna put Leonard Kate stickers back so I can get a little organized over here. I think I have room for these red balloons that I want to add. Very festive. Oh my gosh, I just had enough. So, yeah, I think that's cute. Alright, I really wanted to add those there. But I used these because... These have been stuck on here for the longest time. Is this going to be too big? Oh no, actually it fits kind of perfect. I finally got to use that sticker. I'm just kind of just decorating, guys. Just adding all these stickers in here. This white space here, I think I'm gonna go with all the washi that I have gotten from Simply Gilded. So I think these would kind of be perfect to use. Oh, I have the star ones too. That should fill up that space. Okay, yeah, these work a lot better. So I'm gonna put that little firework there. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And it says, show me the fireworks. That's so cute. Put a firework right there. Freedom ring. Little pinwheel. Where can I put this pinwheel? We'll just kind of decorate along this side here. Kind of space it out. That's cute. I will add these glasses right here. Um, I think that's kind of perfect. And then I'll kind of fill in these spaces with these stars, these glittery stars. Add washi to the bottom here. This is that picnic one. It is so cute. Okay, maybe should I do a star or do I do red? completed my monthly view for July. It's very festive and decked out, but um, I think it looks super cute. And I love that I was able to use my new washi from Simply Gilded. Super cute. So over here I put an extra box so I can note about camp and the start and end date there. Um, so that is a Planner Kate sticker from her freebie samples and I also was able to put this extra payday because it's a different payday from these three here. So um, that's also a Planner Kate sticker from the freebies. I've been putting them in here. So I won't completely put this in here but it's already in set up for July. 
super excited about it. And you can see that this is already chunky because I have my current planner in there. Um, but I did go ahead and use a pocket that I already had on hand. This is a clear pocket from Daiso. So we'll see how this one works. It's um, kind of a different cut of a pocket. Um, it's not the best. So we'll see how this sticks to this fabric here. You can see that it's, it kind of is coming up already. So I'm going to order the ones from Amazon. And I just needed something there to put those smaller pockets because... Um, I don't have anything else in here besides I could put them in here, but I just really like that pocket there So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little setup and plan with me. It's a it's definitely probably gonna be a long video But I hope that you got some tips and tricks out of it And I hope you will consider subscribing. So I will see you all in the next one. Take care stay safe and happy planning. Bye